Yo, what is going on, boys and girls? Welcome back to another video. I know you've already seen it on the thumbnail, but this is bucket list moment for me. This is this is a location I've known about for over a decade, and I've never really explored this part of the UK. But we're down here doing some things, me and my boy Kurt, and we thought we're going to do it, and we have, and I'm excited about it. So let's show you what we got going on over here. I don't know the story of this garage, why it's just left like it is. I believe this is a Triumph up on the rack here. Um, is that the engine out of it? I couldn't really tell you if I'm honest. Uh, yeah, just a rusty old shell is what's left here. Not a lot. But how cool is this? I love it. I'm guessing this, these cars maybe with something else to do with restorations. There's an old post round the back in the trees, which we'll check out. However, if you look through the doors, sorry, we're not getting in this one. It's going to be a visual, uh, Visual bit of learning through the glass. You can see there, there's a beautiful Porsche sat there on the right hand side. I'm guessing the sort of Porsche that come on the lovely polished D90s. There's a Jaguar XJS just sitting here. But that Triumph, we'll get to that in a minute. Just check this out. I mean, it's wide open as well. We're gonna close it anyway, just to try and preserve it a little bit. But how cool is that? I love this. I'm kind of pinching myself that I'm here, if I'm honest. Uh, yeah, we need a, need a bit of new rubbing on there, but I think that's the, the least of our worries. As you can see, the bumper's dropped off at some point, still plated. I've always loved the, this shape, Jag. Two things it always reminds me of. One, the movie speed, Toon Man in his XJS, and the old Cannonball ones with John Candy, the blue one of those, on British plates out in America. Which I love, but yeah, this thing, I know it's too far gone. But is it too far gone? Anything can be restored. Just takes money, I guess. And then as you can see, this Triumph, this is what just sold it for me every single time I've seen photos of this place. Like, I know it was sold out to the newspapers a couple of years ago, no doubt. That sort of uh, caused problems here for people coming and checking it out. But I pointed this out as well. I was so excited over the car. Look at that leopard print cover. Seats it's got. Seat covers in there even. I'm so excited, I can't even get my words out. But as you can see, the steering wheel is still there. It's a lovely wheel too. The clocks are still on it. We've got 26,000 miles. I love that all of that is still there. Uh, Michelin tires, but I love these as well. They're like a beadlock, is that what they call it? Boof! Like the old Aston Martins, that kind of vibe. The fenders are on the floor. Excuse the shadows as well. The sun is crazy bright at the minute. Um, I'm guessing the bootlid has either been taken away or is just rusted through to nothing because the cross member is still there. Got the lights still on it too. The garage is awesome as well. I'm guessing, well, obviously, no petrol station at some point. Go golf, go safe. Yeah, you can see all the lagging and stuff is down in there. We're not even going to try and uh, try and get in there. Bits of cars everywhere. Well, come on, drop it down in the comments below. How awesome is that Triumph? I think that's excellent. I really, really do love that. I'll uh, get out of my way a little bit. Well, out of Kurt's way. And I'll show you the Porsche that's hiding around the back. See, I love testing station it would have been. I'm not kidding when I say this is on a main road as well. I can imagine the neighbours get a lot of hassles. From people stopping and checking out, etc. But we're going to be good. We're just going to have a look at the outside of this place. Because there's a Porsche just sat here hiding in the trees. It's a shame, isn't it? Real, real shame. Beautiful as well. I love that shape. And it's the sort of stuff that's really starting to come into value, I guess, at the minute. Is that a 944, 942 even? I'll be honest, I don't really know my Porsches of that era. It's got the nice wheels on it too. I like that. What a shame. But yeah, let me know what you think of this place. It's just, I'm kind of pinching myself because I've wanted to have come here for so long and I never actually have. So it is a bit surreal being here. God, I tell you what, that fan was close to me then, man. I like it. But forget, go to catch Kurt's channel out as well. But yeah, boys and girls, that was a quick little visit. Sorry it's not a longer video, but we've literally done what we can do here at the minute. You see there's some sort of... Uh, Bus in there. Look at the car up on there as well. There's a Kia in. There's loads of cars in there. There's loads of stuff happening. I'm not sure what that chassis frame is up on the top there either, but that looks awesome. But yeah, 
thank you very much for enjoying this little explore with me. It was a pleasure to have done it and shared it with you. And I'm still pinching myself that I have. Yeah. But I'm going to take a couple more photos. And I shall see you all in the next one. Take it easy, boys and girls. Boosh!